Take a look at these bright yellow public health warning signs. They were spotted in Northeast Portland warning about the installation of 5G cell phone towers. Now viewers contacted KGW's Kristen Severance asking her to verify if those signs are really legitimate. Yeah, so we received an email, Kathy, from Denise and Michael Brock. They sent us an email and a picture of the sign. They asked us to check this out. Is this legitimate? Thank you so much for sending us that email. We love when people send us questions to verify and topics to verify. So we can verify this is not an official sign put out by the city. The mayor's office, the Oregon Health Authority, or the city's office of management and finance, they all said no, they did not put these signs up. Any sign put up by the city will at the very least feature the city's seal. The mayor's office told us there is no planned 5G installation. So city council is scheduled to vote June 5th to allow AT&T to continue to install wireless sites in the right of way. These are called small cells and they're meant to increase network capacity. According to the mayor's office, these small cells are not currently using fifth generation or 5G technology. As for those health claims, New York Times reports that Russian TV network RT has been putting out these anti 5G segments, alleging that 5G leads to things like brain cancer, infertility, autism. But there is no scientific evidence to back up those claims. Doctor and professor of radiology and medical physics at Temple University, Dr. Marvin Ziskin, told the New York Times, 5G emissions, if anything, should be safer than previous generations. So we can verify that these public warning signs, they were not put out by an official government source, and the new wireless sites will not be using 5G. Kathy? All right, Kristen, thank you. If there is anything you want verified, Verified, reach out to us and we'll take a look. Just email verify at kgw.com.